Welcome to Teaching Students by Design. I'm Ellen Hefty. Thank you for joining me as we discuss authority and how it supports the way students use their strategy. In episode four, we talked about strategy and how it makes all the difference in decision-making and having good experiences with the right people. As a reminder, remember that the strategy for an initiator is to inform, an alchemist is to wait to respond, time benders wait to respond and then inform, orchestrators wait for an invitation and recognition, and lastly, calibrators wait one lunar cycle before making their big decisions. Authority never overrides strategy, but it helps students be more in alignment. There are different types of authority. Most authorities help the student tune into the signals coming from their body. I'm going to briefly introduce you to the different possible authorities. Each student will have one of these authorities. First is creative authority. It makes up about 50% of the population. Any type, except a calibrator, can have this type of authority. These are the students who need to pay attention to their emotional wave and how a decision feels over time. It's helpful for them to wait before deciding and try to at least sleep on the decision. Students with creative authority sometimes can be impulsive and spontaneous, which can lead to unfavorable decisions. Teachers can help them by giving them time to decide and check in with them often to see how their feelings are changing. The next authority is called evolution authority. 35% of the population have this type of authority. This can only be an alchemist or a time bender. For them, the answers to yes or no questions from their sacral motor is the truth. Nothing else influences their decisions. So for students with evolution authority, teachers can help them by asking them yes or no questions and listening for the uh uh-huh or uh uh-uh sounds that come from the sacral motor. Next is what's called mastery authority. About 10% of the population have this authority. Some of them will be initiators and orchestrators. Those with mastery authority have this gut reaction in the body in the moment that helps them know what is correct for them. Sometimes it can be a smell, a taste, a sound that either feels right or not. Teachers can help students with mastery authority by asking them how does the decision feel right now. Next is called resource authority. Only less than 1% of the population has this type of authority. Those will be some initiators and some orchestrators. Students with resource authority need to have the willpower to act. Asking themselves how full their energy bank account is is really helpful. Students with resource authority need to hear themselves talk out loud because it helps them know what is correct as they listen to how strongly and willfully they speak about the possible decision. Teachers can help them by giving them a person they trust to go talk to and helping them determine if they have the energy. The next authority is called calibration authority. Again, only less than 1% of the population has this type of authority. Students that are orchestrators may have this authority. The decision needs to be something that is in alignment with who they are. So for them, it's also helpful for them to hear themselves talk out loud, to know what's correct. They're going to listen to how they speak about the possible decision. And that will help them know if it's a decision that's in alignment with who they are. Teachers can help them by giving them a person they trust to go talk to that will listen and help them see if the decision's in alignment. The rest of your students, if they are not any of the previous authorities that I mentioned, have no inner authority. That's about 4% of the population. These will be your students who are either orchestrators or all of your calibrators. Students that don't have an inner authority don't have a consistent inner signal in their body to know what is correct for them. The most important thing for them is to hear themselves talk out loud, and they will listen to themselves and how they speak about the decision, and that will help them know what's correct for them. Teachers can help by giving them a person they trust to go talk to that will listen and not give advice. 
As I said earlier, keep in mind that authority does not override strategy. It supports it. In our next episode, we will discuss how knowing the profile of your students helps you understand how they interact with each other. Thank you for listening to Teaching Students by Design with me, Ellen Hefty. You can find out more at www.ellenhefty.com. My mission with the Teaching Students by Design program is to guide educators to transform how students are educated and help all parties reach their fullest potential, knowing that when each of us is being our unique and authentic self, the world is a more sustainable, compassionate, peaceful, and loving place.